Hi everyone, Sinan from Car Inspected here. 2011 BMW 335 N55 engine, manual transmission, X drive, all wheel drive. Diagnosing noise, very loud tapping noise. Now, I don't know if this has been something that was discussed before or not. I tore down the top end of the engine. I was looking for a collapsed lifter or a rocker or something at the top because the noise was coming from the top. It is coming from the top. I got an injector removal tool. I removed all the injectors. I inspected them and I found out that they were replaced less than two years ago. I should have done the obvious. I'm going to explain my findings and I don't know if this is something that is normally done uh, by garages or by diagnostics, uh, by mechanics. So I am almost certain now that it is a uh, rod bearing that has spun and I'm going to illustrate and uh, I'm open to suggestions. Cylinder one, all I did was actually remove the injectors and I removed the uh, spark plugs. You can see them here. I just have a quarter inch drive. In this engine, the N52, that quarter inch goes through the um, spark plug hole. I'm rotating the engine clockwise as to not compress the, uh, well, it's really hard to see here, but I'm gonna try to shine a light on it. This. Oh, there. That's the uh, timing chain tensioner. Um, it's right under the lit section of the chain, right next to the tip of the flashlight there, that, that circle. So I am rotating only clockwise. You see the piston is starting to come down. If I hit it with a mallet, rubber hammer, no noise. And then I move on to cylinder two. It's going up, so I'm gonna wait till it starts to go down. And hit it, no noise. Cylinder three, it's going up, we'll wait. And it's starting to come down now and hit again no noise do it again just so you can there now cylinder four it is already starting to come down so no noise just hear me out, I have a point to make. Cylinder five, it's going back up, so. And we'll wait till it maxes out, and then it starts to come down now. And we hit nothing. You think I'm joking or you think I'm Trying to prove something that uh, cylinder six at the top it starts to come down. Did you hear that? Again. It's 
That's the noise that the car is making. There it is. That piston is loose. Again, comparing it with this one is coming down. Nothing. Cylinder six. Complete the cycle. And simple. There you go. This is my diagnostics. It's uh, raw, unfiltered. There are no special tools. But I'm pretty certain that it is a spun rod bearing. Now, to add to the certainty, Let me just find a good one for you. Of course, there. Do you see the copper shavings? I see this one fell, but here's another one. Then you look at the insides and you'll be able to see more copper. Yeah, I bet if I tear this, there you go, you're able to see it. Here you don't see much, honestly. I'm gonna zoom. And we're back. This is the intake side. I was just about to tear down the top end, which is bring the camshafts out of time and inspect the lifters. I have separate videos for the diagnostics. Um, I will try to link the video where the noise, uh, where, with the engine running, where, where it was making the noise. I am almost 100% sure that cylinder six is faulty. It has a spun bearing and it's causing a lot of noise. You can do this at home if you're diagnosing the issue. Let's it. One more time. There you go. What you need to do is tug. So don't just bring down the crankshaft slowly. You need to tug it. Look, there. So now, if you test, it's gonna be very loud. So basically what you're doing with tugging or rotating the crankshaft in the, in the direction of travel. So don't, don't rotate it in the opposite direction. Whatever your engine is, this should apply to any engine. Rotate the crankshaft in the correct rotation or in the correct direction but then don't rotate it slowly just tug it slightly there and then make sure you're at the top of the piston and then there you go we'll do it one more time cylinder three going up It's starting to come down and tuck. And now, all right. Well, at least I know what the problem is now. 
So I'm going to button up the top end of the engine because we're not intending to do any work here at the top anymore. All the work will be from the bottom. This is an X drive. So if you are familiar with these engines or with these cars, the axles need to come out because the axles and the uh, front differential goes through the um, oil pan. So the oil pan needs to come out and then we need to bring in some bearings, rod bearings. And uh, well, I hope that the <laughs> I hope that the crankshaft is okay, but we'll have to wait and see. Another way, if you are looking at the N55 specifically, if not, then you can skip this part. Look at the Vanos actuators, the electronic uh, actuators for the Vanos. You remove them, take a look at them. If there is metal shavings there, there's another indication that something had gone wrong, but it's not enough to tell you if it's a rod bearing. The rod bearing has copper, and you can see it here. And if you suspect that, then you simply go into each cylinder. You don't need to remove injectors, just the spark plugs. Rotate the engine by hand in the correct direction of rotation to, to the specific engine. Mine runs clockwise. The way you can find out is you simply turn on your engine and see which direction the cr crankshaft rotates. In this case, it's clockwise. So we're twisting in the direction of rotation. Give it a slight tug before and make sure each piston that you are testing make sure that it is traveling downwards so it is going down then put in a quarter inch drive make sure it clears the tr the entire travel of the piston up and down i.e. doesn't get stuck in or doesn't go in and get stuck in there because that is a nightmare so make sure there is no way that 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 this part can go through the hole. I.e., if it travels, if the piston moves all the way down, this part is still gonna be stuck out at the neck of the spark plug hole, uh, so that this thing doesn't get stuck inside, and that causes all kinds of nightmares that you don't want to be in so when the piston is starting to move down give it a slight tug go with the mallet or rubber hammer and tap it if there is the noise that you heard or a similar noise to what you heard in cylinder six then you have a spun rod bearing this has been sinan from car inspected this video was filmed in montreal Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.